to 10. Um, just finished packing our campsite up. Just starting to walk now. And last night it was just torrential rain all night. And really, really windy. Um, it was really good that we had the shelter that we did all around the trees because the tent wasn't making any noise or at all in the wind. Um, but yeah, the rain, the rain kept waking me up. But we had an early night and I got a lot of sleep, but I did wake up quite a lot. And the rain's just started again. Um, it looks like it's going to be on and off all day. Uh, but we'll see how we get on. So we're about just over 18 miles from Fort William now, which we're going to try and get to and push past today. Don't have too much food on us. Um, I don't think there's anything in between us and Fort William. Um, so we're rationing the food a little bit. It's 11.20. We've only walked two and a half miles. And it's windy. stressful morning uh, but about an hour ago I noticed my waterproof cover my green waterproof cover was just flapping about and it came off and we realized the elasticated cord had come loose from the little mechanism um, and that's how the bags stay on they've got they've got like a elasticated drawstring all around them and they just sort of hug around the bag uh, to keep them waterproof um, but I couldn't put my cover on and it was tipping down with rain it's still raining now um, so we were stood there on the track for about 45 minutes just trying to feed this elasticated cord all the way through and it was a nightmare but in the end I had a good idea she used a hair clip um, so we pulled the whole cord out put it in the hair clip and then fed it through slowly we got it through once and then it came loose again and because it's elasticated it like like slings all the way back through um, but we managed to get it get it working got the cover back on um, we're walking again, um, it's still raining, um, but the good thing is when you're in the mountains it makes the small river, it makes the small streams and uh, waterfalls, turns them into torrents of water coming down, so they're quite cool to see. Uh, so yeah, even though it is raining, it makes the scenery different and interesting to look at. hours 15 miles to go to Port William and we are wet very very wet really good to get out of the rain guys had all on our radiator and uh, we're eating our last little bit of food what did we get guys this lady just Got ginger nuts. Ginger nuts. Two double deckers. Oh, nice. Two apples and two easy peelers. Yeah. <laughs> That'll keep us going. So we're just leaving a place called Gear Locky, which was just a canal lock and uh, just a little little hut with uh, some facilities that we have access to. Haven. Showers, toilets. Yeah, a little haven. Uh, and they had little they had a little room with a washing machine, tumble dryer plugs so we just sat in there and someone had a tumble dryer going um, so it was like really really warm um, and it was nice we spent about two or three hours there just charging everything up I edited and uploaded a video and Di was really cold she had wet clothes her waterproof top isn't great doesn't seem to be doing the job properly so she was really cold so there was a heater in there so she was getting warm again and there was a lady there that we spoke to and uh, we mentioned we were low on food and she come back with uh, a bag with two apples, two easy peelers, two double deckers and a pack of ginger nuts. So we've got plenty of food to Fort William now. Uh, the rain's eased off but it's really, really windy. There's lots more rain forecast 
and we're 11 miles from Fort William now. So it's 7 o'clock and we're on 19 miles walk today and we're just coming into Fort William now. And uh, yeah, it's been on and off raining all day. It was really bad rain this morning and really windy. We were walking into a, a headwind all day. Uh, but yeah, we're off to Morrison's and Lidl now to resupply. And uh, we've got to pick up quite a bit of food. Quite so a bit. it is quarter past nine. And we were on 19.88 miles walk today. It's been too many, hasn't it? Way too many. <laughs> for uh, these little legs. Yeah, so we're finally coming out of Fort William, so we've officially finished the Great Glen Way and now we're on the West Highland Way, which goes from Fort William to North Glasgow. 98 miles of mountain terrain, rivers, and tracking forest and woodlands. So, um, so we've loaded up with food now, and we've eaten a lot, and we've just calculated we've got about seven, about seven kilo of food. <laughs> So um, between us, so both our bags are about three and a half kilo heavier. Um, so I'm glad we sent that package away because <laughs> the bags are feeling a little bit heavy. So it's five to ten, and we went 21 miles today, which was tough in the in the wind and the rain. Uh, we got the tent up back here, just in this little picnic area we found at the base of Ben Nevis, and uh, yeah, me and Di were both exhausted today. We were sort of battling, battling, the, ooh, slipped on a root. <laughs> battling the wind all day is really tough. Um, but yeah, we've got the tent up and uh, just having something to eat at this little picnic area now. A few midges about. But uh, yeah, just have something to eat. <laughs> and then uh, brush teeth and get into bed. Um, but yeah, we're getting into the swing of it now. Just getting into town to town, filling up water, getting food. And walking, it's a very simple life from watching nature. <laughs> <laughs> and eating. And eating a lot, a lot of food. But um, yeah, it's really nice being surrounded by all this nature all the time. It's, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Mm.